Do you want to turn yourself into an animated character for your next video? In this demo, I'll show you how you can create a cartoon effect for your videos and some time-saving tips to improve the results. To start off, the easiest way you can turn yourself into a cartoon is by using any cartoon-like video effects you have on your app or in your video editor. For early 2022, the options still seem quite limited. From doing a quick search, I only found apps like Cartoon Photo and Cartoon Views, which simply add a cartoon-like layer on your videos, but the results are not very stunning. This, however, is the quickest method. Then there's Toon App and Toon Photo for a better result. But as of now, these apps can only process photos. So to create a video, we need an additional step. First, you need to shoot your clip, upload it to your video editor, export some keyframes to feed them into eBay Synth so it can process the cartoon face to each of the frames. But the results are still a bit boring because you still look like, well, like yourself. No offense. If you want to go a step further and make things more interesting, you can first shoot your video in Instagram using a filter like the Pixar version real, and then exporting the keyframes to Toon App, then running them through eBizHealth, and finally compiling the image sequence again in HitFilm Express to get a cooler look. And if you want to add some retro flavor to your video, you can take the exported keyframes to a program like 8-Bit Photo Lab, where you can change the style to look like an original Game Boy CGA, EGA, or VGA 8-bit appearance. Another option is to edit the keyframes in Photoshop to make you look like an avatar or whatever style you're after. In Photoshop, you can also add an outline to your character if you like that kind of look. Or, if you're good with the pen, you can create completely your own style. Just to remember that the proportions of your face and body have to match the original for a good result. Four time-saving tips. Before you export any of the keyframes, make sure you're using frames in your timeline instead of time code. This will make everything easier down the line. Second tip is to use a green screen like I'm using here to get the best possible result and have more options in the post-production. In every video editing software, there's an option for keying, which allows you to change the background to any setting and place you in the shot or add multiple characters in the same scene. The third tip is to create the keyframes from open expressions where your eyes and mouth are fully open and you can see some of your teeth too. Because EBSynth cannot guess what your face should look like if you keep your eyes and mouth closed, or otherwise you will get a matrix-like effect where your mouth simply disappears. And for even better results, you can run short sequences where you close your eyes and mask them in the video editor to make your blinking look smoother. Fourth tip is to run multiple keyframes in eBSynth and making sure they overlap enough so you can play in your video editor with opacity fader to create smoother transitions in your clip. And if your hair, for example, changes too much from one sequence to another, you can simply mask your face from another run to keep the appearance of your face similar, but to improve the results, how your face looks like. If you have questions, more suggestions for videos, or any other feedback, please comment below and I'll answer it to you shortly. In my other eBusiness videos, you'll find more detailed tutorial how to use the program. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.